I think everyone wants to qualify, even like um, who doesn't have a team wants to like join an event which is hosted by Riot and uh, you know be playing against the best. I mean everyone's dream is to play against the best and at the best event. I feel like what really helped us as a team especially because we're very new to all these experiences, most of us, uh, is that we focus one game at a time, one round at a time, and we take every match as a battle of its own uh, without thinking too deeply, because when you start worrying about something else, you kind of forget that you have an objective to complete first. So we're very objective-oriented, where we want to finish the first objective, move on to the second, and we don't think so much about what the final outcome might be. I never thought, you know, ah, I'll be maybe champion this year, whatever, I just always was trying to improve, trying to get better with the team and see where that leads us. And then all of a sudden, I didn't even realize, hey, like we made champs. That's what they came That's out a good thing, bro. Yeah. They, they don't, they don't fucking they don't know, bro. It doesn't matter. We're, we're a tiger, we're a, we're a snail, but we have like a very, very skinny, like, pokey thing <laughs> yeah. on the back. Poisonous. <laughs> so if we want to be, be respected and go far this event, we need to fight for it, and that's not snail. Be the most dangerous snail, guys. Kid. Shit, Baby fox or a skunk is a kid. <laughs> now you know. Fucking. I thought it was a tit. It's bonk. <laughs> bonk <car. laughs> See, it's so beautiful. We only need anti shine for this incredible heat where he has to go through suffering, but he's doing all of this only yeah. for his you team. Know? You know? Make it, them win. Yeah. 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 We have bands Icebox and Lotus. Map number one is Ascent with Vitality on Defense. Map number two is Sunset with Trace on Attack. Next set of bands are Ascent, Abyss, and Haven. Map number three is Bind with Trace on Defense. Good? Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Good luck. Handshakes, bro. Handshakes are professionals. <laughs> Thank you. This team is made, is forged into a unit. Like uh, the other rosters were like three, two groups inside the team, so it's hard to make a unit. So there's no like trust to each other, but there's like this roster makes us special because we have the bond in each other, like the trust, and we fight in the mud together. Well, that's definitely uh, good tidings for this matchup. Good luck. All right. Well, it's time to bring out our team. So let's head down to the stage and say hi to Trace and Vitality. This would be so much more comfortable for Vitality, but feeling area. Just couldn't quite steady the aim. In. Oh, oh, the drop God. down, the lock here play coming through from beyond. Everyone will find one, but now everything to do here from Feng. Frenzy in hand, both running out of bullets, the reload to come through. The push forward, he's going for it, he's got to drop down, he's got to get the timing, and he does. Feng closing it out, giving Trace another pistol win. Jump out though, and BNK again with the Odin, the quick peek, finds it, Gunbarrel spotted the drop down from Kicks, sees the operator, but there's nothing more that he can do, he is stranded, running out. The only one to try to fight back. And that would have to be an ace clutch to keep this map going. The plant gonna be stuck. They're not looking to corral. They allow him to get that one through. One kill, he has a lockdown. But will he find the opportunity? Shots flying out. He cannot make it happen. The defuse will come in and Trace will be taking the opening map here of this series. Their pick of ascent goes their way. 15 to 13. Yeah, just focus on sunset. Yeah, focus on sunset. I mean, we've been map one down before. I mean, what it's happened? Sad, what happened? Nope. I just uh, thrown some rounds, bro. Also, I shifted bro. into bro. a fucking old. Bro, it's fine, bro. What can yeah. I tell you about one thing about this? What you're feeling right now? I feel every day. Don't worry. Just think about second lap. After shock. Forcing Sender back, manages to get the crouch, he's still a little bit of damage, but TP's back across over towards safety and immediately is going to be finding a kill as Fang is taken down and safe. And now, it is Hebe all on his lonesome, his vitality. They say, hey, nice Red Bull clutch, we're going to go ahead and get a MasterCard Thrifty. <laughs> as the Hunter Fury connects, he gets taken down, MasterCard Thrifty indeed, 13-7, vitality. Stopping the run back here from Trace, they make it look a bit more competitive, they go ahead and impress us and put our jaws on the floor for a brief little moment. But now, we get ready to go into bind. But now, the shift, the rotation has to come through. There's that wall. No ults to speak of here from either side, the Dizzy. 
Not going to be spotting out much here. The center just TPs across. Wall now cleared out. Paranoia at the ready. Hebe again here within two. Getting caught by it as Kai jumps up over the top. He's in on top of the Mosh. He ends up getting taken down. A window potentially back in, but Bianca says absolutely not. Where were you when Tracy Sports took down Team Vitality? After the first map loss, we regained the second map, but we couldn't close on the third map, so that's a bit sad. We couldn't hold their pushes. I mean, they played pretty good. So we're gonna play Talon Esports. Uh, it's not gonna be an easy game. It's gonna be, I think, way more difficult than Trace Esports, so we have to prep and do some, some our homework. It's a do or die situation right now, so if we lose, we're out of champs, but we're not counting on that, and we'll see in the future. Like I'm in a video game or a movie. Nice. But you're dressed all in black. Yeah, that wasn't a smart decision. But it is what it is. We have to roll with it now. There's no going back. Which means uh, more sweating for me. Oh, you're brave. I think that reaching top eight uh, would mean that we successfully improved over the last weeks until, you know, reaching somehow uh, not the full potential of the team but uh, uh, a good potential. I think this team has the potential to you know, win it all at some point uh, but I also believe that it takes time and it's not necessary. It could happen right now uh, but it, it's not necessarily going to happen right away. You know? So we leave, our, we leave our mark you know, on these things you know, yeah. and then... <laughs> But we, you know, visited the King's Temple. Yeah, it was nice. Walked a lot, sweated a lot, drank a lot of liquids. And now I'm full sunburned. I'm gonna take a cold shower when I get back. What he and means is like he loves Korea. Uh, he's yeah, very I love grateful Korea. for this day. Now I have to go back and play some more Valorant. Let's go. Performing over here is not necessarily hard. I feel like I'm the type of person that can get into the zone very quickly. I'm a really stubborn man, so I don't let a lot of things on the outside get into my head. I just try to go like straight forward. This is fun. This is really fun. This is fun. <laughs> Ah, yeah, that's happening. Oh, oh yes, oh, I like it. Ah. <laughs> nice. There we go. What happened to Rob? Okay. Are we all here? Okay. What a star. I don't see you here. He looks so very nice. Huh? He looks nice. He looks very fun. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he looks this confident. Is, this you know? is the purpose. Yeah. Uh, I'm very excited, but today I brought with me the snake. And for me, it's about renewal, it's about immortality. And if it's not this tournament, it's next tournament. But for today, we are gonna fight. First set of bands, we have Icebox and Abyss. Map number one is Lotus with Vitality on attack. Map number two is Sunset with Talon on defense. The next set of bands are Ascent and Haven. Map number three is Vine with Talon on attack. Alright, come on. Fuck this up. I don't fuck this way, that way, 180 direction. On the vise available for him to even know which way to play it around in. This is Vitality again. I mean, they're just walking all over them. Trex deciding not to break it, waiting for reinforcements first. Right out through here, trying to take point and contact. Still kicks! You cannot be dominating this! My god! A six piece available and here and now! Never hates, by the way, Nisi. But I have a six game. What a game, what a game. <laughs> Bix is trying to get ahead of this one. He's going to hear these footsteps as well as an off angle, but it needs to be first shot accuracy on display. And it is Vitality. Recovery inbound with a knife tagging. Primi's position noted, spotted. Vitality defaulting back into that discipline. Ever so close to the potentially that round win. Damage done. And Primi just not aware. All intended just to slow this one to a crawl. Kicks already with an old command. It's waving out. It's emanating nobody to deal with a dart. And only two left to start. Ban holds strong, but only for a moment before the nade removes him and Chip Boys has to do the ultimate. It's all in his hands, it's all on his shoulders, and he is no long for this world. A 13-8 to finish this map. Vitality survive. We finally got some good games on our hands, you know? <laughs> Hopefully it's 6k. I have no ace in VCT, but I have a 6k now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First 6k for it. I have 6k in champs, by the way. In champs. Oh, yeah. First 6k in champs. 
Wat ja? Arm wat is het wel eens? I'm hungry. Rich top eight, it will definitely mean a lot. Like first champ, first year in VCT, first champs qualifying. It's it's gonna mean like a lot, but you know, we I'm not thinking about that stuff right now. I'm just going, you know, game after game, following the flow to see what happens and whatever happens, happens, you know. I mean, the challenges we're going to face during this tournament are going to be ones that we haven't experienced before. Uh, obviously, playing in our region doesn't necessarily mean that we have experienced all of the bad things that may happen at an event, especially at an international tournament with a big crowd, a lot of people watching, higher pressure, higher stakes. You know, I can't predict what might happen, but I do know that if there will be any issues we encounter, it's going to be ones that we haven't seen before, and it's going to be up to us to adapt on the spot and be able to take care of it. Number one is Icebox with Vitality on Attack. Map number two is Sunset with Love on Defense. Next set of bands are Lotus and Haven. Map number three is Ascent with Love on Oh my goodness, he gets the first, he the gets the second. And now the smoke down to try to dash out and stay alive. That's beautifully done from safe once more. Oh. As it goes down, Mazzino does two. Icebox is going to have to pull off a bloody miracle. Now left into 1v2. Spotting the ankles of safe and understanding where some of the starts will list. 35 seconds left. There's a shot at this. He's got to commit to the plant though. And that's exactly what he does. Spit at his feet, tanks it a little bit. And it's just a bit too much. Outnumbered and outgunned. Vitality respond. A huge blunder. One of the biggest we've ever seen on the main stage. Sender dropping the spit, exchanging for the one at his feet. Dart behind him too. I mean. No. This it has to be the most miserable position for a player to be in. Guys, we, have, we, we don't have a lot of time. Let's focus on the next map. Let's focus on the next map. Forget about what happened, guys. It doesn't matter. Fucking focus on the next map, please, okay? We forget. No, we reset. Take a deep breath. We reset. We talk about the map, okay? Three, two, one. Yes! Trip. Waiting on one side as the paranoia goes out. Boot two kills the way of left. Runner's gonna have to do it on his own. Contacting in. Is Mazzino going to set up a fault line here? This is danger. He He's did. not interested in it. Yeah, you're right. He did hit that, but he wants to take the fight. He's got to be careful. He's got the spike in hand. Tex is going to be able to trade it back. The last bus on the swing. Not able to connect, but save comes alive. Enemy remaining. It's going to be calm in a 1v3. Safe realizing he's there. It's the first. Sender drops him, dismisses him. And again, Vitality crumble. From beginning to end, bookended dominance on Sunday. Yeah, Icebox may have been a different story, but a statement made from the number one seed of America's runner can only stand for so long. 13-4 and a 2-0 sweep of Lev. Unbelievable performance. Their playoffs bound. Uh, I think uh, individually and as a team, everyone really improved. Everyone made a lot of efforts uh, to get better and, uh, and get here. I think they've had a, an insane experience uh, throughout the year and being able to come to champions with uh, four players that you know never had the opportunity to play such a, a big uh, international tournament before. Same for the staff. You know, we had a, we had a staff change uh, mid-season, and I think it's been a, a very challenging. Uh, a new way of, of work as well. We will try to do our best to be here again next year and perform. Uh, so yeah, I think that's it. That's a wrap for Valorant VCT 2024. Nikki, I think you've turned into the best, one of the best players I've ever seen. I think your Damien said it. Your I don't call it transformation, but it's just uh, you realizing potential and opening up to the rest of the team. I think everyone is would be in agreement in the sense of your gemstone. I don't know if that's too cringe for you, uh, Sender. As I said, we came a long way since VRL playing RuneScape during an official. Huh? Here we are. Safe. I think uh, I said it to you before. We wouldn't be here without you. We wouldn't be have achieved the level we would have achieved without you. I remember sitting, standing downstairs with Salah on the first day of practice with you. Um, and you were like, we're never going to make champs. Communication, uh, the communication's bad in this team. It's done, it's over, GG. <laughs> from there, from the first day of practice in person to now, it's like, you know, I don't think I would have been as good as I am without you either. I think you owe a lot of your experience to me. And um, I'm glad to call you a friend. God bless you. <laughs> Kimmy, every team needs Rops. 
someone to ground them, someone stable, someone to mood's a bit down, you just hear yeah! in the voice comes and suddenly the mood just mm. and I think the value both in game and out of game you bring is, is amazing. Emma, I hope I was more to you than just a backward machine. Um, and I hope I at least helped you um, actualize, at least begin to actualize your potential. I feel like everyone in this room, even staff included actually, you too well, <laughs> have undermined how much like the smallest of efforts changes a chain of events in every single person in the room. Look at where you are now rather than you lost. I don't think it's a defining moment for any person's career in here. Because you don't need to be Aspas and you don't need to be some motherfucker that kills three people every time they come down. You need to be that single person that is so selfless enough and so ingrained into a team environment that you can enable people to perform on the stage, that you can be better. I think it's been rough for everyone. And I think it's been very mentally taxing. And obviously any team that Sid goes to is maybe a mentally taxing team. <laughs> uh, that's the downside of having someone very emotional on your team. But on the bright side, we know that the highs were very high and the lows were very low. But uh, appreciate the journey and have this as a receipt of your accomplishment because whether it's in groups or it could have been in playoffs, you can reach beyond that. And I think you proved that today, before that, in playoffs before that, and during the whole season. Completely different, but definitely players that should serve. That's all. <laughs>